<laughs> Doing a score a lot of points. Yeah, right 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 just Woo! all the big plays you guys were able to hit all day. You guys were able to kill. Um, I think I think we came out with the right mindset today. You know, our offensive coaches have been on us since Thursday. You know, it's a game like game like mentality, and I think we came out with a game like mentality since the beginning. You know, and we carried that through the whole scrimmage, and that's what uh, allowed us to hit those big plays and even. You know, grinding, grinding out drives and stuff. So it was a good day. Everybody's talked about the stretch Chris has made. Uh, did you see that kind of play out today? I think he was kind of 13 and looked pretty sharp today. Yeah, he did look very well. Um, he's definitely matured, and I think the off season really helped with that. He uh, spent a lot of time throwing and in the weight room and stuff, and uh, I think it really showed today for sure. The offense just looks so much more smooth. Why is it? Um, I mean. We've all played with each other for a little while now, and uh, I think the unity is the main thing. You know, that's one of Coach Choate's big deals is unity within the whole team. So uh, I think that's that's the main reason that you know things are clicking right now, and we just need to keep that rolling throughout the whole season. You guys had a lot of situational play and segments of practice today. Was it nice to get on the field and sort of see how the you know Brian Armstrong calls plays and get in that rhythm as you play a little bit? Yeah, um, I think it's good for I mean our offense and our defense to get in those situations because you know it happens every game it happens every year you know it happened to us last year a lot of times to get in those situations and you got to go win a football game um so yeah it was good for us you offense get, and defense sorry you, you guys started out in those you know backup situations mm -hmm. we're able to make a few big plays you know for first downs mm -hmm. how did starting that way kind of set the tone for the rest of the day for the offense um you know uh, up front, we we made our calls. We we were we we didn't panic. We uh, just kind of stayed together. And uh, you know, when when we when we do our job, big things will happen. You know, we just gotta can't panic when we're back there. And so when when something like that pops, when you're backed up, that kind of gets your momentum going for the rest of the day. So that really helped. Having a threat in the, in the a tight end that can also line up in the slot, I found so he was that dude open to go. Um, he's a good player. I mean, he's he's fast. He's he's got good hands. A good route runner. Uh, it showed today. I mean, he he really made uh, good plays in the red zone. Scored a couple touchdowns. Um, so yeah, especially with his size, he's he's definitely a threat. The, you've got a couple of young guys working on the left side of the offensive line with the number two. What what are you seeing from them? What are you watching? When you're watching them. Um, they're. They're very mature for their age. You know, they're they're definitely advanced, and uh, you know they, they still make some some mental errors. But you know, um, just with, with with some work, they'll they'll be fine. You know, they'll uh, they'll definitely grow. Um, that's just the main thing is getting in their noses in their playbooks and uh, not making uh, the mental errors. Um, you know, I think we just stuck with our base rules up front, you know. Uh, but when we when we do that, we can pick up just about any pressure and we just got to relax, can't panic, pick up those pressures and I think we did a great job of it today. Thoughts on Troy Anderson today? Uh, Troy's a good player. He'll he'll be he'll uh, he'll be a big role in our offense, I think. So uh, he's a big kid, big fast kid, hard worker. Don't say anything. Puts his head down. Does what he needs to do to make this team great. So that is all right. Thank you. about the strides that Chris has made and we've seen him, uh, how nice was it to see a performance out of him like today? It was really nice. I think uh, he kind of displayed his um, his growth in passing today and you know he's he's really confident. Um, he's come a long way since last year just working over the winter and the summer and um, you know it was great to for him to get out and do what he did today. Tell us about your long touchdown. Is it zone coverage? Is that what you saw? Right? They were playing man and we uh, Kevin Cass has had, he had a seam inside and uh, kind of used him as a pick on the outside and came open up the middle and luckily I had enough in the tank to, to get in the end zone. Did you think you were going to get caught? <laughs> I wasn't sure. I uh, um, I hoped I wasn't and uh, 
Luckily, I didn't. Do you feel like playing next to Kevin now, or playing with him a lot for all of last year and into this uh, this fall? Do you feel like you guys are starting to develop a little bit of a rhythm of playing on the same side and be able to do things like that? Definitely. Um, it's really nice playing with Kevin because he's such a great receiver and great teammate, great friend, and uh, you know he's a really special player. And it's nice to um, he was kind of forced into action last year, and uh, to have this offseason to work with him and Chris, you know, it's, it's been really good for us. <laughs> Struggles in the passing game have been you know, well documented, I guess. Mm -hmm. but I how fun was it to get out there today and really see some, some success, some big plays down the field, you know, throwing football? It was nice. I think we, I think we showed that some of that in the spring game as well, and uh, you know we've come a long ways over the course of the summer, and uh, you know we were really explosive in the past game today. Um, you know that's just a tribute to Chris and uh, the work he's put in this summer. Is that it? All right. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Coach said you guys um, might have started out a little slow in that backed up situation. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the reason for that? I don't know. I just don't feel like there there wasn't uh, energy, and that starts with I know me and Mac need to bring a little bit more energy. But uh, definitely, yeah, the offense they, they came out uh, firing today, and you know it, it's a scrimmage situation. The bolts are flying. We got no excuses. A bunch of young kids, but uh, we just need to execute in uh, these type of situations. And now we know. Go back, watch for the film, and. Just keep practicing. Coach Joe just said communication might have been an issue for you guys too. Can you talk about what was kind of going on there? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, obviously you got, you know, trying to relay the calls in, relay in to the other safeties, just trying to get everyone lined up. Obviously it's the first scrimmage and you can tell, still no excuse, but uh, I know, I mean, we'll be all right. And it's, it's the first scrimmage. But. What changes have you guys seen in Chris Murray? Uh, definitely, he, he's, he's throwing the ball really well. Uh, uh, the corners we're talking about the other days, he usually he's hitting a certain spot, maybe they're a hitch he's throwing to the outside. Sometimes they're breaking to the outside, he's throwing to the inside. He, he's just developing as a pocket passer, more of a pocket passer. You know, he can run, he's fast. But uh, definitely, you saw today he's throwing some, uh, some very good balls. But a lot of uh, a lot of that was some, some blown coverages. But we'll, get, we'll go back to watch the tape and uh, fix that. Did you get a sense through the day of the the big play potential of, of your defense though? Uh, like giving up big plays? No, no, no. Creating big. Oh yeah. Sacks, oh yeah. yeah definitely. I'm at. It, it helps having the, the D line back being healthy. Definitely helped us uh, in the in the back end. You know, a lot of the big plays were came from uh, the scramble drill. So that that's one thing I feel like we need to work on, especially in the secondary. Is I meant the the D line's doing a great job. Linebackers are getting to the depths. It's just us. We need to plaster in certain situations and uh, not let those guys be open. A lot of times uh, you matched up with Connor Sullivan and he lines up in the slide. Yep. Oh, he's running routes over the middle. Yep. What sort of improvements have you seen out of him? His routes are definitely getting better for the tight ends. I I, I think he runs the best routes. Um, he, he you know he, he's not like Curtis. Curtis is a better blocker. I feel, but. Uh, Soli, his routes are getting a lot better. He, he kind of he's starting to understand the offense, and uh, you can see that in today. How impressed are you with the freshman corners? How well they came out played today, Tyrell and Jalen. Yeah, Jalen. Jalen should have cashed in on a pick, but uh, no, definitely. Uh, he, they're, they're coming. They're warriors, man. I'm excited for their future. I mean, they might need to get in earlier than they're expected, but uh, I'm excited to see what those guys can do. Ty's talked a lot about the need to develop more of a pass rush. Mm -hmm. but can you tell in certain situations that, that a quarterback's having to make a decision faster with the rush they're generating up front? Yeah, definitely towards uh, the end of the clutch situation we called it. So the, the end with a minute, what a five left. Uh, I know we gave up a big play, but uh, obviously he, he didn't have much time to, back there. You guys could see the D line did a tremendous job. Um, we, we just, you know, need a plaster, got things to work on. They'll get us right here in a little bit, get back in the film room, and we'll be okay. The plays that Chad Cano makes seems to get the defense good. They like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. He, he's a good young kid to have. I'm excited. He brings energy every day, uh, he's flying around there. Yeah, you saw he made a, he had a strip today. Uh, his celebration. He needs to work on that a little bit, but he's doing all right. Is that it? Thanks all right. All right. Thank you guys. Mac, just general impressions of the defense. Seemed like you guys gave up some big plays, but then you seemed to rally towards the second half of the scores. Uh, yeah, we just didn't come out with the energy that we wanted to, um, and the offense had a good couple plays, but. All it takes is one person to be out of their gap for a big play to happen. So that stuff said we're going to go work and clean up.
Is that frustrating for you to start slow like that? Yeah, it is. It is because it seems like it happens more so with the defense and the offense, you know. And then it, it, it kind of sucks because um, just in practice, we're always coming out ready to play. But when there's get people comes around and we're, we're just not up to that standard yet. How do you get there? I mean, what was the biggest adjustment you think you guys need to make to get to the point where you are ready? Um, I don't know. Just got to focus, you know, on a job. Just bring energy, you know. That's what it's the coaches are always preaching. If we bring energy, it's going to fuel the fire for us doing the right assignments and whatnot and getting a job done. Do you feel like you have more options this year to generate pass rush? You had several different guys today mm -hmm. put pressure on the quarterback over the course of the day. Oh, yes, very much so. Um, we're still a long ways where we need to be in that category. Because, I mean, if we get, get a good pass rush, it's going to help the secondary out a lot. And as you see, when we didn't get the pass rush, the quarterbacks, the DBs were having to guard the guy for four or five seconds, and that's just too long for them to do their job. So Coach, we've still got a long way to go in that category. Uh, Coach Choate kind of said that this is the end of phase one of camp. So how do... How will it change, do you think, in your mind going forward over the course of the next couple of weeks? Um, I feel like they they got an idea of what uh, younger guys, the freshmen and redshirt freshmen, that they're going to start bringing with on the bus, you know, and uh, they're, they're going to kind of allow them to get more reps and get them ready, as with the ones and twos keeps them, but then the redshirt guys are probably going to have to take fewer reps as champ goes on. Speaking of the younger guys, who, who stood out to you today? Uh, that Chad Cano, and he's doing good and making plays. I mean, he's uh, stripping the ball from Nicholas Sain, a senior running back. So that's, that's what you want to see a freshman. And then, of course, Troy Anderson on the offensive ball.